where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies and battles Hello friends, welcome back to SS Kitchen So today we're going to make um, chicken curry recipe And it's going to be really simple, really easy It is a one pot recipe And I really love making this one So let me start off with introducing you to some ingredients So today we are using fried onion i have chopped two onions and fried them some ginger it's just chopped ginger and i've used two tomatoes they i'm going to use two tomatoes they're chopped and then i have chicken hair which i've marinated in chili and garlic and some oil and a little bit of a dry mint and then we have salt i've used two tablespoons of salt two tablespoon of turmeric two tablespoon of red chili powder and in this one right here we have some dry spices so it's very small piece of cinnamon one big cardamom um, two to three cloves um, a pinch of a fenugreek seed and a pinch of cumin so let's get this recipe started so for this recipe i've taken one big pot why I'm using this pot because this entire recipes require one big pan to make and we'll start it off with putting some oil in this pan. So I'm going to use olive oil and I have some, I put some olive oil in here. Once the oil is well heated, I'm going to add all of the dry spices. So I'm just going to show you the dry spices again. Okay, so as I said, it's one stick of cinnamon, one big cardamom, two to three cloves, a pinch of a fenugreek seed and a pinch of a cumin seed together. So once the oil is heated, we are going to put these spices so in now there. Now the oil is well heated. I'm going to add all of these spices in here. Just going to give it a bit of a stir once you can smell the fragrance of the spices what we're going to do here now I am going to add all the chicken It does not take time to cook this recipe but yes it's definitely um, all you need to worry about is cooking the chicken through so as I mentioned it does not take long to cook the recipe the cuts of the chicken I've taken is just the nibbles the wings and the nibbles because my son likes this cut of the meat so that's why I have taken this and as I mentioned before, I've marinated this chicken in some red chili, dry mint and garlic. Very little garlic. I won't add too much of the garlic in it. So now what we're going to do is just going to wait for the chicken to cook just like this without adding anything else. So now that chicken has cooked a bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add all of these um, spices into it. It's just red chili powder, some turmeric powder. Every single spice in this, um, in this recipe goes after you added the chicken. So I've added some salt and I'm adding the fried onion. So now we're going to mix it all together again. Okay. 
so now we will let it cook for a little while when i say little while it will be only for five to six minutes i'm just going to let this cook with some red onion uh, fried onions and then i'll be adding tomatoes at the end As you can see the chicken has changed a bit of a color and you can see the oil has been reduced from the chicken now so I'm going to add our fresh tomatoes in there now so after adding the fresh tomatoes we're just going to let them cook with the tomatoes now at this stage I am also going to add the chopped ginger I chop them at this size. It gives a really nice and crunchy taste when you're eating the ch um, chicken. Remember as I mentioned in the beginning of this video that um, I will be needing a big pot because it has to be cooked with every spices generally what we do in our chicken curry we um, put everything first and then the chicken but this one as I said it's a little different and so that's why we put the chicken first and rest everything afterwards so we're just going to wait for this to get incorporated with chicken and it's almost done and at the end I'll show you what I like to eat this chicken with so now what I'm going to do after I've added some tomatoes and the ginger, I'm going to cover this with a lid for it to cook for at least um, next 10 minutes. And after that, we'll serve this chicken with buns. So that's what I like to eat this chicken with. I like to ch eat this chicken with some crusty buns or as in India, we call them pao. So now after some time, I'm just going to mix this so we have left it for around um, six to eight minutes and as you can see the color is looks amazing the chicken is almost ready I do like to make it a little bit more dry because if you have seen in the whole video we haven't added any water any other liquid substance to it so it's all tomatoes juice or the chicken juices we haven't added nothing else into it so now the chicken is almost ready and I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve this chicken now so now I have here these crusty buns what I'm going to do I'm just going to slice them like this nice perfect slices we're going to drizzle some olive oil onto these buns so here I have drizzled some olive oil the good thing about olive oil I like it does not um, it does not take too buttery and it just tastes good so I've just spread the olive oil here and I have my flat pan here heating so once it's all heated I'm going to put these buns on the pan and I'll show you a little bit of a trick to give this buns a nice color so they look really nice and one more thing why I like to eat this chicken with this buns um, because as you can see they're very soft and you can just squeeze the juices out with the bun and eat it I like how it looks when you do this So now that it's all heat up, I'm going to add some paprika onto here. We start seeing it smoking up and I'm now going to put my buns like this. So it's just a paprika, not a red chili powder, which is paprika is more full of flavors. So I'm going 
to make them press a little bit and now at this stage because we have only drizzled olive oil onto one side of the bun i'm going to do it on the other side as well now look it has this nice color on it and yeah that's pretty much it for the buns i'm going to just put them aside and sprinkle some more of paprika and do the other bun as well my hair a bit and there you go in india we call them pow here we call them buns or crusty buns and pows are more soft they're like side buns that you get from kfc those side buns they are exactly what the pows are in india and there we go we have our buns ready and now let's place the chicken okay so let's plate these now what i'm going to do is i'm going to plate the chicken so i'm going to take this bowl and put chicken here Just do it this way. There you go. And put some gravy on top like this. Look how amazing this looks. Now we're gonna put the buns on the side like that. And I'm going just going to top this chicken off with some. I'm going to top the chicken off with some mint. And there we go. The easiest chicken recipe ever. It looks really good. Um, so yeah, do give this recipe a try. Please um, do leave a comment. How, you, how does it taste? How does it turn out? And please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share SS Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.